damn it, Nidos here, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Last time, we survived the Valley of Thieves, and we were told to go relax a little. So we're gonna do that by talking to people at the bar. I thought it'd be get better after the war, but now everything is taxed and you can't walk on the streets at night. Seriously, it's treacherous out there. The streets are full of criminals, and our council is full of politicians who only care about patting their own nest. Now it's daily terrorist threats. What's going to happen in this country? Ah. The terrorists killed Mrs. Matana, head of the council, just three days ago. They say it was the work of the old royalist. But if you ask me, it could have been any of a dozen different groups. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Ah. If Eris were here to see how things had turned out, I wonder what he would say. And let's leave the bar. Help! Somebody! Riot! What? Calm down. Tell us what happened. A riot broke out in the Dover District! Dover District? A.K.A. the Royal Ghetto. But they hate bloodshed. They're always the first to negotiate. That's the terrible part! The armor decided the royals were behind the assassination of Smetana, and they came to the count way more away. Things got tense, and young nobles galloped around the soldiers, and then there was some shoving, and so someone just drew a sword. What kind of fool? Let's, <clears throat> let's go over there right away. And so we are going right away to the Dover District, our next battle. This is the default loading screen that you'll see on occasion. These are the events, troops. Hiya! Wa! Kia! We, we surrender. Surrender to death. Ah! Barbarians. Crimson Guard, Special Anti-Terrorist Forces, an elite fighting force formed by the well-known right wing of Hellspites. They're famous for being ruthless of terrorists, but this is too much. Troops, assemble! Well, if it isn't the security forces, what are you doing poking your little noses around here? I know you, you're Ash Lambert, the son of a traitor becoming a platoon leader. What a joke! Ha <laughs> ha I'm laughing. What did you say? You scum. Stop it, both of you. But Ash, let him talk. Oh, he's trying to sound like a saint, aren't ya? <laughs> As you can see, we cleared the area of enemies. Ooh, some are still holed up in that church, but we have business elsewhere. As long as you're here, you can take care of those left in the church. Make sure you do a good job now, to tootles. <laughs> I hate Kane. That lousy creep. Yes, but what are we going to do, Ash? Let's go and see if they'll surrender. Maybe we'll do a better job than uh, Susan Kane over there. Damn it, looks like there were no enemies, but I actually skipped it out too quickly because of a sticky circle button. Damn it! But, oh look. The thing that Ash said invalidated was invalidated by the appearance of monsters. Where did these monsters come from? They've been summoned by a powerful mage. We're gonna have to cut through them. Uh. So, now, I'm just gonna have Clint bash this uh, chest open. You open chests by attacking them. It is weird, I know. You got herb. And there's a spot we can examine here. What's there? Oh, it's a bow. The one that I could have bought at the shop if I really wanted to. 
And I think I'll have a uh, let go of my Diego. Shoot this guy here. Hopefully kills him. If he doesn't, well... Well. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> okay, this is a fixed camera mode. Probably better than the other one. Weird feature. Glad that we have it though. That's two blocking ghosts in a row. Ah! That is not good, Ash. You're gonna die soon. <laughs> Alright, so... This is a pretty filthy place for wolves to live. After the war, their estates were confiscated, and a special tax was levied on them. They can't even vote. This is the Asha dynasty, dude. We are oppressing them just for being who they are. Politicians always make the weak in society pay for others' mistakes. That'd make anyone want to fight back. Yuck. Alright, well... Diego, kill this ghost, because he's terrifying, the populace here. And that gave him a lot of experience, weirdly enough. Awesome. I'll have Clint attack this ghost from the rear. Oddly enough, not killing him, that is ridiculous. Eh, might as well fairy light again. He could use the healing, definitely. And he leveled up. Hooray! No, okay, that increases HP. Now Clint and Ash have the same HP because heroes are basically knights. Now the enemy's turn is here. And oh boy, Ash's back was exposed. How delightful. At least we got him. Huh, never knew about the fixed camera feature until... Well, ow. Weirdly enough. Oh, and Diego's at level 6 now. How delightful. Now he's going to attack Ash in the back as well, because they couldn't be nicer. Okay. We have to release that drawbridge. If we examine the switch, it should release it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do something with the drawbridge in a moment. I'm gonna fairy light here again because, well. The plan is to. I want to end this level as quickly as possible, so we're gonna not go for. wasting too many turns and attacking him. So, now it's the end of his turn, that ghost is gonna move. Attack and Ash in the back, as expected. That's right. I apparently ghost bleed now. That's good to know. And now it's the uh, Hunter Imp's turns. Thankfully, they can't do Jack at all because they can't release the drawbridge. I'm gonna go for this uh, little cracked uh, 
sidewalk there because, well, something that I'm not going to use immediately, but I'll be using later well, is there. I'm not going to examine the switch yet because if I do, that bridge will go down and the Hunter M's will start moving into position to kill. You know? And we get Mushroom. It's not really a mushroom. Although I guess it releases a mushroom cloud or something. Eh, who might as well examine the switch now. Get them to move. To us. Oh yeah. You'll get to see some more cool things with the switches later. But for now... We just have... We're only seeing uh, drawbridges being released. I'll move a uh, Clint boy here. Kills him in one hit, to be expected. And we can't move anyone else, so let's proceed. In case you want that camera angle yourself, go to your options and go to camera. You can do dynamic, which is the one that revolves around the map, or fix, which is what's been happening. And... He's 21 away, he's 97 away, and he and my friend are 18 away. You can, uh, herb yourself for experience. You can, uh, take a pot shot here for experience, if you hit. You do hit, which is good. You're 78. You're four away, and you're going to not do anything yet. Proceed. Yep, I'll be going for that chest as well. And I might as well do this now while we're ahead. So that we don't have to worry about him any longer. Yippee! Okay. And I'm going to have Diego start moving towards our goal. This mission's goal is to get everybody to the... area up here. Everybody is alive, anybody. Anyway, so, for example, if we were to lose, like, Clint and Diego in this map, the only one that would have to get up there would be Ash. Now anyway, we're gonna smash this chest. Give ourselves a good old herb here. And. I am not going to edit this down, because I want to show you how long this uh, walking can take sometimes. So... Although at least there isn't like a turn limit to this, so we're good to go on that front. And that ends our mission. Hoorah! Kill.
killed everybody. Got 660 gold. And let's see if the uh, Royalists will surrender. Assuming, of course, that they aren't already scared to death with the Crimson Guard. You're surrounded. Drop your weapons. We don't want any more needless bloodshed. You mean that, don't you? Of course I do. Don't listen, Count. He's a blood-drinking devil. Well, if we continue, everyone will die. Excuse me, Count. But how can you trust these soldiers that slaughtered us? East needs to begin somewhere. Also, this uh, man seems different than those crimson murders. I'll give him a chance. We surrender. I'm Ash Lambert, Ishtarian Security Force. Thank you for your quick compliance. My name is Roland Claymore. This riot is my responsibility. Please do not blame anyone else. We have laws here. It's not for me to decide. But I will report that you offered us no resistance. That's enough! Stop right there! Ah, the return of Citizen Kane. The Crimson Guards have come back. Nice job for a bunch of weaklings like you. But we'll assume control from this point on. <laughs> or maybe the Sama Traitor wants to take credit for this. I want no credit. Do as you like. Ah. Over there, punk. Thank you, I will. Which one of you is Claymore? I am. Good! Come over here! <laughs> I have no need for the others! Kill them! <sighs> and we can watch the slaughter from off screen. Claymore is a gas. What have you done? My god! Here. I won't forget this. Kane, you bastard! So the traitor finally shows his colors! <laughs> Good! I've wanted to cross swords with you for a long time! Ha! Look at my definitely compensating for something sword! Stop it, you two. Commander Beckett. Stop. You have both sworn to defend this country. Leave us be, old man. You had best watch that mouth of yours, Kane. The Crimson Guard is already enough trouble with the Council. More trouble than even your dad, Hell Spites, won't be able to help. Save your hollow threats for someone else. But I'll be a big man for get your rude words to me today. However, I'm taking this old blue blood with me. Ha! What a dick. Damn him. Thanks for staying cool, Ash. It'll be fun. At least until hell is over. <laughs> the next day. Come on now. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> you must be Ash. Ash, 
This is Dolph Crawley, a representative from the Young Revolutionary Party. Nice to meet you. Dolph has been sent out as a mediator to deal with yesterday's incidents. <sighs> I understand exactly how you feel, Ash. The Crimson Guards were completely at fault in yesterday's massacre. Normally, there'd be a need for a mediator in a case like this, but there are a few complications. As you know, the Crimson Guards are the pet project of Hell's Sprites, the Minister of Defense. Hell's tactics may be questionable, but his power and influence in the Council are not. I personally think that he is a dangerous man who needs to be watched. Uh, kind of name is Dolph. Two council members are competing to become head. Cause Mr. Mit Tanner, as you remember, is dead. Hell spites him Ronaldo Castile, who's, as you know, the head of the domestic security forces, your boss. See the pattern? You're saying it's more than just a personal grudge between us and the Crimson Guard. Do you think it could escalate to a confrontation between the DSF and the army? Well, uh, let's not be overly pessimistic. But we need to act swiftly to avoid future trouble. So, what do you want us to do? Hell's punishment will send you on leave away from your policing duties in the, here in the capital. But that's just to establish your cover. The truth is, I have a top secret assignment for you. Oh boy, secret assignments. I wonder what could go wrong. <laughs> So, what is this top secret mission? Do you know who General Magnus Dunbar is? Of course, the greatest hero of a country. Why? He's also second in line behind Hell in the Defense Ministry. Well, three months ago, he went to Gobaris Island with a squad of hand picked soldiers, and he hasn't been seen since. Gaboris Island in the Gadar Sea? Why? I don't know. But I've heard rumors that he was acting on secret orders from Hell who was playing a coup d'etat. That guy is out of control. And he wants us to investigate that, huh? But Magnus is known for his sense of justice. I don't think he would just blindly, blindly follow Hell Spice's orders. I accidentally skipped the box, oh god! The secret assignment makes me uneasy. I'm still not personally sure how much we can believe this Dolph. Seriously, what kind of name is that? It might be a wise idea not to accept this assignment. No, I'm going to go. If we stay here, we may cause trouble for you. You've been a good friend to me. Ash, that's not why I had you assigned here. Of course I know that. But whatever Dolph's reasons may be, we can't ignore what happened to General Mag Magnus. That's true. I want to take a vacation anyway. I understand, but this is a dangerous assignment. I want you to be careful every step of the way. Indeed we will. Now, we found a bunch of items last mission. Let's go do something with those. Ash, you're giving this bow to Diego, who... could use an upgrade to his bow by now. Plant doesn't have anything, Diego doesn't have anything. Let's go to the depot, let's go to the items. Oh, we got an herb. We can toss that in Clint now or something. Anything else in items? We're gonna keep these two in reserve for now. Nothing under armor, nothing under weapon. Okay. Let's go to the shop, shall we? Sell that uh, bow that we no longer need. And nobody else needs to do anything involving inventory. So. Now let's skip out on town. Actually, let's go back to town. I forgot something. Sometimes, dialogue in the tavern updates, depending on how far along you are in the story. Bartender. Welcome. How you doing? 
We need a powerful man to fix this country. Someone like Hell Spites. What kind of name is that? Who knows how to crack down the bad guys? It's true that Hell has been tough on crime. Well, Hell is tough on anyone. But somehow I feel that this country is going in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's not just politicians that are the fault for this country's problems. The people came together to overthrow the Asher dynasty, but afterwards they had no direction and fell into complacency. Nobody else in the bar. I'm alone. Ah. Okay, old man, stop rambling. And we're gonna skip out on town. And now, our next place is moving away from here. In case you enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.